Hey everyone, and hail to the fellowship. We thank you guys for tuning in. I'm your normie, no your nerdy normie reviewer, the Elvin Barber, and joining me is the Lord Loyalist himself, TC, the Token Cripple. How are you, sir? I'm well. I watched Gotham Knights, so what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh we're gonna get into it. <laughs> and we're those guys, Gotham Knights. I don't, dude. <laughs> This show, all I can say is wow. I don't, I don't, there's so much wrong, I don't even know where to begin. It was study of brave, don't you know? I don't know <laughs> where to begin at all. <laughs> so, as soon as this show turned on, you know what I noticed right off the bat was the shitty CGI. They yep. use. The production is so bad for this for this for Gotham. The buildings, the the shit flying in the air, the blimp, every everything is just looks like shit. I mean, we know Gotham's supposed to be a shithole, but that's not supposed to be because it didn't finish rendering. I know, like even shithole Gotham <laughs> looks better than this the CGI show. Oh my gosh! Like the adaptation of Gotham. In every other property, looks ten times better than it does in this fucking show. Like I just uh, want to start off by saying that. Yes, so bad. Then we jump to Bruce Wayne in his office. I heard a rumor before the show started that the the big bad in this show was going to be the Court of Isles. <laughs> I was familiar. I was familiar with the Court of Vows. I've read the comic. I was familiar with it. I have the mask. I have everything. Right. I love. I love the comic series. But I thought to myself, why would the fuck would they do Court of Vows? Like that doesn't make any sense. There's no like. I, I just couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it until I saw their their interpretation. I saw their Bruce Wayne, and he's holding a coin. With a fucking owl on it. And I lost my shit. <laughs> I lost my shit. I believe I said out loud, are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? They're wasting one of the like greatest stories to like in this rogues gallery. They're wasting it on the CW show. C fucking W. And, and then it earns its title of a CW show by the end of oh, the first episode, for sure. It does. I think it earns it in the beginning of the episode. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, very true. Very true. I was just and, more charitable. And then, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. And then while he's in his office, he hits some button in his in the the, 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 the wall or the bookshelf opens up. And you see his cow. And that shit looks fucking awful. Like, my niece, who is eight, I could give her some crafts and she could make a better fucking cow than that. <laughs> like, that thing looks janky. It looks it looks pathetic. It looks like it's been washed, like, eight or ten times and, like, left out to dry. Like, it looks... TC, you saw that fucking cow. Like, it looks bad. I, I laughed. It, it looks I, bad. All I remember was thinking, okay, they're bringing in the Court of Owls. And I know that you're a big fan of that whole concept and the, like the whole story arc. I'm like, this is gonna piss Barbara off. That was my thought. <laughs> I'm like, they're using the idea of Gotham's wealthiest cont with controlling and influencing the city. They're bringing all of that shit in, which could be really good, and they're bringing it in to Gotham Knights. Like what? <laughs> what? I don't know what. God. Um, see, now I just want to jump all over the place because it's all bad. It's all bad. Yeah, and, and the thing is, like every every complaint we had uh, when we reviewed the trailer, every complaint we had sticks. Oh yeah, uh, like... justified, <laughs> justified. Oh my gosh, I don't know what part of that cow was, was worse. I don't know if it was worse when it was just like being average, like just on that stand or when it was actually on Bruce Wayne's face. Like, I don't know. You know what? That explains how he died. 
His nerves going to shit. So. <laughs> I do have a prediction, though. A side note, I do have a prediction. Yeah. I think these CW writers, these hacks, I feel as though Bruce Wayne, they're, they're writing it as if Bruce Wayne killed himself, but not really, but he's not really dead. But he's posing as if he is dead. This to is draw out the Court of Owls, you think? Draw them. Yes. This is where I think they're going with this. And they're trying to be clever and smart. And they're not. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, yeah, I was going to say two words that don't apply to them. Correct. Because as we spoke of before we started, there's no fucking way just anyone can get the drop on Bruce Wayne. Like, there's just no way. You there, have to. No, go ahead. There are two people in Batman's Rogues Gallery who I would believe could kill him. One mm-hmm. of them would be not would not be inclined to. Ra's al Ghul could do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Joker could do it, but would never do it. He would never do it. Because he, he, he enjoys fighting Batman too much. Yes. Yeah. He enjoys having a foil. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, only two people that I believe could actually get the drop on Batman. But other than that, like, not just anyone is going to be able to do that. So, yeah, I think that they're they're kind of trying to portray that, you know, in the end of the season, what's going to happen is. We're going to have a Batman review. We're going to have a Batwoman review reveal of Hush again, aren't we? We probably are. <laughs> we probably are. Oh, my God. Dude, did you see the Batcave in this fucking show? <laughs> the what? Like, it wasn't even the Batcave. Like, this was this was something, like, I could make. It was literally, a, like, this could be a cave anybody could just walk into, put a car in, and put three computer screens. Um, and that's it. You that's know what? It. You know what, Barbara? You know why? You know why everything is the way it is. It's because you have more money in your checking account than the CW did. <laughs> 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 oh, that's true. That's true. We all have more monies in our checking accounts than the CW budget for this fucking show. That's for that's for sure. But you know, it's kind of fucked because I started thinking about it, and I think about the Bat Cave that was in Bat Whammon. And I was like, wow, like, that women's bad cave was ten times better than this fucking bad cave. <laughs> and that is sad. Like, how sad is that? <laughs> oh, my God, dude, it was so bad. I'm like, when they start going, this is so when, like, Discount Grayson starts walking down the steps into the bad cave, I'm like... I'm waiting for like a giant ass screen and just like a ton of tech and computers and you know there's like on the <laughs> side there's like the bat suit and like yeah I'm just like expecting so much stuff and I walk and he walks in there's literally the car in the driveway the car goes down and then three computer monitors. <laughs> I mean at least the show has a Batmobile in season one. <laughs> that that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, honestly, um, honestly, it, I I could probably make a more convincing back cave in my in my living room. You could, you really <laughs> could. I, I could literally Amazon Prime like five or six things, and my office would look more of a back cave. My office now looks more of a back cave with my with my two monitors. My TV and fucking my lamp. Like, that looks fucking bad cave more than that CW shit. Like, that oh, was so bad. It, that it was, was insulting. I, it, it was such. It was. It really was insulting. It really was. I, you know what? Those, this show was a better comedy than Velma. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Oh, man. I really couldn't stop. La- I, I had to laugh. I had to laugh, you know, it took the place of being angry, so I was like, I'm just gonna start laughing at everything because it was all funny. Uh, um, uh, Discount Grayson 
Turner Hayes. I'm just going to call him Discount Grayson. Same origin story as Dick Grayson. <laughs> Literally the same thing. Dick Grayson? Well, I mean, I, I, I guess I, I'm glad that they didn't in the sense that they, they, they would fuck him up. So I'm, yes. glad they, I'm glad they left Nightwing alone. But You know what? At this point, I'm glad they aren't touching any of the legacy characters. Like, you know what? Uh, it's don't even do them. It's already bad. They disrespected Batman. It's like don't disrespect anyone else. <laughs> like, let's not. Let's leave everyone where they are. Um. But yeah, discount Grayson. Parents die when he was young. Batman takes him in. Except Batman actually adopts him. So, which is something he never did for any of the other Robins, to the best of my knowledge. Exactly. They were his. They were his ward, but they were never adopted by him. And that's the other thing that makes it hard to believe that that um, he never found out he was Batman. I'm like, adoption is not a short process. I understand that, like, he doesn't tell them right away, even in the comics. But it takes a long time to adopt somebody. It does. It does. And I don't understand if if the means of just warding warding him like he would ward anybody else was op- if it was open. Why wouldn't he do that? This. I believe they just want us. This is to show us just how special Turner Hayes is. TC, we're like but he's so he's he gets so shown great up in every way. Like, he's so special. Bruce Wayne actually adopted this one. He but did. He gets out. He gets out. He gets out combated by uh, Carrie Kelly, which makes sense. She was trained. Uh, he gets out computered by other random best friend. <laughs> I don't even know her name. Uh, I don't. I don't remember her name either. <laughs> um, but he doesn't know how to escape. Bruce Wayne never taught his kid how to escape handcuffs. You mean to I tell know. me a faking being drunk Bruce Wayne would never have taught his kid? Hey, here's how you break out of handcuffs with a paperclip. Apparently, Bruce Wayne never taught him how to do anything. He had to. He just trained in all these things with other people. Like uh, I don't know about all that. I mean, I I still believe that if Bruce Wayne is training somebody, he's either training them personally, he's taking them to the exact same people who trained him, or he's having he's having Robin train him. Like Carrie Kelly in this universe, I I suppose, would be the one training him. He would not just send him to some rando. Right. <laughs> Which they kinda they kinda like hint toward that's what he did. He kind of he kind of sent him to some randos, and he got his training or whatever. I'm just like um, one other question: If yeah. Carrie Kelly was Robin in this universe, how the fuck does Turner not know who she is? <laughs> I mean, I understand not not being like, oh, she's like not knowing she's Robin, but not like keeping quiet that Bruce even knows her to his own son. Yeah, really, I, I don't believe I just, you. I can't buy that. Like, I just really can't buy it. I, I, he, he, they should have been on decent terms, at least. They, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, again, it's like it's not like you have to. You're not not like you have to say, "Oh, I'm training her to be a vigilante." Oh, this is Carrie Kelly. I'm. She's helping me with. I don't know. Come up with some bullshit billionaire yeah, ex- excuse. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but. The fact that he doesn't know who she is. I mean, they're in trick class together, and he doesn't even know that much. I don't believe you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not buying what they're selling there. Definitely not. You know what I also noticed about this show? There are a lot of girl bosses in this uh, fucking show, man. She's surrounded by them. They're, yeah. The thing is, like, he... I mean, I guess he hasn't been... Hyper incompetent, given his not having actually been trained, I guess. But everybody else is hyper competent, and he just she just along for the ride. Yeah, we got a hundred pound girls flooring men, flooring men like it's nothing, taking them out easy. And these are like two hundred pound men, and they're yep. just taking them out, no, without and, breaking and, a sweat. And they're and they're in high school. Yeah, and they're in high school. <laughs> and it's not even like it's just Carrie. It's not. It's, it's Duella, the Joker's daughter. Oh, yeah, that's how freaking nuts. That. Oh, dude. First of all, they're, they're naming her. They're, 
it's obviously a riff on Cruella. Yep. First of all. Second of all, I, I stand by what I said when I did the trailer reaction. He would have killed this kid in the cradle. Yes. Um, first and second. Third, it's like... this. Oh, how does she know about the Court of Owls? Oh, I, I was raised on the horror stories of Arkham. I'm like, how the fuck would you know? Your, your, your <laughs> father was in Arkham the whole time. <laughs> and it's not like he would have been around long enough to tell you bedtime stories. Exactly. Oh, well, she said that he wasn't around because apparently dad was with mom and then dad left mom and went to and, went and met Harley and then I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, no, the, the thing, no one would be with the Joker. Unless, no one. Uh, unless you're going to make her a, a victim of rape, he's not going to have a kid with anybody but Harley. Correct. And correct. Like as sick as the Joker is, I, I don't think raping uh, raping anybody is anything that he's interested in. That's yes. like he's done a lot of crazy shit. But that's ironically enough one of the lines I don't think he's ever crossed. I don't think he's ever crossed it either. I don't think he would. I don't think you'd have any interest. I think you'd just be like, no, I'm, I'm going to play my quote-unquote pranks and mm -hmm. fuck with Batman. Yeah. That's what he's all about. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's all about. But she's just, she's the best at hand-to-hand -hand combat, though. She's Who would have trained her? <laughs> and the plan making, I mean, she's just so good. It's not even at Carrie. Anything. At least Carrie was trained by Bruce. At least Terry was trained by Bruce. I, I yeah. don't know it's Joke. I don't know who trained Joker's daughter, but she is the bestest, the bestest ever. Oh no! Uh, they, didn't they make a comment that she was pulling a Catwoman? Oh, please tell me it wasn't. They Selena did. Kyle. Please they tell me did. it wasn't Selena Kyle. Oh, I God. think it was Selena oh, Kyle. Yeah. If it wasn't, uh, it's worse. Uh, it's getting worse the more I think about it. This is so bad. So bad. So Bruce Wayne is dead, quote unquote. They get framed for his murder. Why does why does he have the gun that Joe Till used just out where people could get to it? Yeah, that's I'm like, what is going on with this shit? Like, I can I can understand him having it in the cave, but there's no way he, it should be uh, Visible to anybody. There, yes. Yep. No way. No way. <sighs> Apparently, <sighs> Discount Grayson has been accused of hiring them to kill Bruce Wayne. Apparently, he just wants the money. I guess I don't. I don't know. It's, this. This. The writing is terrible. <sighs> There's no way this kid, first of all, we know this kid isn't even tech savvy, so that's just. Yeah. So, I, I, oh my God. Then we got Misha Collins. Uh, <laughs> what happened to you, Cassia? What have you done? He's phoning it in like Dude Gray Scott in the last season of Bad <laughs> <laughs> Way. <laughs> oh, man, Misha. Misha's is there what? for the paycheck. I, I'm so sorry, Misha. I don't know. I don't know what they have over you. I don't know if they like hold your family hostage. But whatever it is, I'm sorry. Oh my god, dude! The acting in this show is atrocious. It's bad. It's not good. Uh, and we still run into the issue that Harvey is still not two faced. He's still not two faced, and he should be at this point, but he's uh, not. He's and if they, if they do what I'm suspecting that they will, that Harvey was behind it, I'm going to say fuck y'all. No, yeah. Because the yeah. thing is, my entire understanding of Harvey's character, and I could be wrong because I'm, you know, but up until he became Two-Face and whatever happened to him happened to him, he was actually an upstanding guy, right? Yeah. That's my yeah. understanding of his character. Like, before, whatever it was that effed up his face, effed up his face. He was actually, like, he was trying, essentially, to do, through legal means, what Batman was doing behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, yeah. That was, that. Was, that's how he did. Yeah. So, yeah. If, the, if it comes out that he was actually the one who did it, I'm going to call bullshit. 
And I think that that might be the angle they're going. It might be. It might be. Although I don't know why a DA would be involved with the Court of Owls. They're not, he's not important enough. And why wouldn't they try to recruit Turner rather than try and turn him in? Yeah, that's that's true. Especially if, you know, you do believe that Bruce Wayne is dead, you would think you would try to recruit, recruit his son so you could son. have access to the money. If not, Correct. If not, if literally, if nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't even remember what the hell else happens in this show. They break out. Carrie Kelly helps. Uh, Race swap. Carrie Kelly comes in and helps him. Yeah. Um, but she's not the one who helps him with computers, by the way. It's someone else. No, some, no, some yeah. Some other rando. She's not even yeah. part of the main cast. She's not. Some It's some blonde woman. I, I don't know who she is, but she's Turner's friend, and she helps him. She's the one who's tech savvy. How did she get into the back computer? You because didn't tell that, me Bruce it, Wayne doesn't have passwords. It's not password protected. Did you know that? Even even in Batman, and it was prote- password protected. Even if it was Alfred, because she's the bestest ever. That's why. <laughs> That's how she was able to to break in to Bruce Wayne's encrypted software, his computer. Because she's the bestest. She's the bestest. The blonde uh, woman. <sighs> Uh, oh yeah, and then Carrie Kelly. <laughs> Carrie Kelly wants us to believe that Batman would confide. First of all, Carrie Kelly had had to save Batman. That's how she met him. She saved. Of him course she did. Because of course she did. So check that box. And then she's so special that apparently Bruce Wayne confided in her. Why he decided not to tell Turner Discount Grayson. Why he was Batman, which I am not buying as well. <laughs> I'm not buying that shit either. I I uh, went on, I went on a rant to Barbara about how little that made sense before we started recording. Yeah, that, <laughs> that made no zero fucking sense. Zero. First like, of all, Bruce Wayne does not open up to people, and if it was going to be anyone, it's Alfred. Yep. And that's not how Bruce Wayne talks. I don't care how sentimental he's feeling. He it's doesn't. Not. He doesn't say, "Oh, he was the what, what, what was it?" Basically, light of my life bullshit. The light of yeah, my oh my god, life, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> almost threw up in my mouth. I was like, "What?" <laughs> this is not how Batman talks. Oh my god! Like it's one of those Batman never says the quiet thing out loud. That's his whole deal. Exactly. Quiet and stoic. That's it. <laughs> uh, Remember in the Justice League animated series when when um when they think Superman died because he went to a future or whatever, and like all they could get out of Batman was he's not dead, and, yeah. and it took him literally go like the moment where he's like, okay, I, my faith in that he's actually still alive is pretty much gone. It's the only time he actually goes to Superman to his um, grave marker. Yeah. Like, that guy would not open up to some random high school chick about how much he loves his son. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. I don't don't buy that somebody who Batman trained as Robin is someone that Turner doesn't know. Correct. I I understand not knowing that she's Robin, but not knowing her to the point where she has to be like, we're in trick together or whatever the hell. Uh, my brain hurts. Uh, R.I.P. to <laughs> Alfred as well. Alfred's yeah. Not even in this. We get female Alfred now. <laughs> we, have so. we have land with his bitch Alfred. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So... <laughs> Alfred just died off screen too. Yeah, Alfred just died off screen. Got replaced with female Alfred. It's not like having. It's not like having Alfred would be basically probably one of the highlights of the show. Having Alfred, who essentially lost a son, and is trying not yeah. to lose essentially a grandson. Right. It's not like having that would have been a good story decision. Oh joy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to no, no, this, like, dude, this show is such shit. 
So they escape. They're on the run. That's episode. That's literally episode. Well, well, the Talon gets introduced. Yeah. Uh-huh. By, starting, by starting to decapitate people. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I'm rooting for the Court of Isles in this show. Okay. Like I am. The, the problem. The problem with this is um. The Court of Owls is supposed to be covert, and if they start dropping bodies with machetes, or whatever type of sword that was, people are going to take notice, even in Gotham. Yep. Like, it's like you're drawing way too much attention to yourself, and that's not the Court of Owls. They're supposed to be a myth, to the point where... Yeah, to the people point question their like, existence, yeah. Even in Arkham, people are like, that's just bullshit. <laughs> exactly. Like, that, like, someone trying to explain that to you, you're just like, there's no fucking way. Like, I've never heard of them. No one's ever <laughs> talked about them. Clearly, you're making this shit up. Like, that's the Court of Owls. And, and correct me if I'm wrong. In the comics, the Waynes, Thomas and Martha, they're part of the Court of Owls, right? In the comics, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, so oh, it's just getting more and more janky as we think about it. Oh God. Yeah. <sighs> so yeah, that's that's episode number one. Episode number two. I, to be honest, I I honestly don't even. Oh, I do know. I I can sum up episode two. Episode two. They're on the run still. They still close because. You know, they need to switch up their, uh, what they're wearing. Doesn't Carrie know the back door to the back cave? Isn't that kind of her thing? That's what, kind of what? her thing. She should, yeah. And I'm sure Bruce has all kinds of shit he could equip with. Even yeah. just basic, even basic like essentials. cocktail shit. Even like yeah. cocktail wear. Yep. He would have the basic essentials that you would need to, to survive. And because she is a teenage girl, he would have the same. He would have clothes for a teenage girl in his in his go bag. He would have everything you need. Even he would have cash as well. Like he would not per- be prepared and with a go bag. Like that's he would always be prepared. Like he would definitely take measures. And you know, I, another show just kind of point how incompetent Batman is. Uh, see the thing is we can't even say he's more competent than Batwoman because we don't know how he died air quotes right we just get we just get a scene of the glass broken and then we just see him on the ground that's it and Bruce doesn't die like a bitch no he doesn't he doesn't I have the same problem with the way he died in this as I did with Supernatural how they killed Dean for the last time oh yeah yeah (laughs) Like which is punk bitch. Which is apropos because we should call it to that show too. Oh God. <laughs> Misha, Misha, Misha. See so yeah, they still close. They they believe Joker's daughter now about the court of vows. Now their whole thing is trying to uh what is it? They're they're trying to uh clear their names, so to speak. They're trying to Yep. You know, they want the truth to come out, uh, so to speak. And the only way to do that is to pick up and investigate the Court of Owls where Bruce Wayne left off. And Carrie's not with them? I forget. Did they come up with an explanation in in episode one why she isn't with them? She's the one who broke them out. So it's not like she's not with them when when all that happens. There is no explanation. She just kind of fucks off and goes back home. And then comes back whenever the plot needs her to. So, <laughs> but she would have—I mean, she would have a good chunk of Bruce's contingencies. He would have built in a contingency for his Robin. He would if, have. If worst comes to worst, and I die, here's here's a safe house. Here's a shit ton of money. Like, <laughs> yeah, he would have had it all here's planned some clothes out. Clothes if you have to go to ground. Like, and she would know about. I mean, she might not know everything, but she would know enough to get them out of Dodge. Correct. Instead, they're hold, they're held up in the school that Discount Grayson attends, up in like the school's attic slash clock tower. That's that's that's, the that's a stealthy that, that's a stealthy location for the police. Oh, I know, uh, right? I, 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 I would assume. Okay, 
So you go to his house. First of all, you know his father's Batman, so you look to the Batcave. Not that I, not that you should be able to get in, even if you do know. Because uh, I remember in, um, in Kingdom Come, I read Kingdom Come, and it's like ev every villain in, and their mother knows who Bruce Wayne is, and he's still down in the Batcave doing his thing. Because yeah. no one can fucking get in there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> so I mean, you would you would go to his you would have his house scoped. You would have this discount Grayson and his friends scoped. Mm -hmm. And you would go to the, like anywhere you could think of that they would hang. You would have you would have um. At the very least, undercover and most likely overt police presence there, like just in case they would not be able to just sneak into the school. Exactly, exactly. Well, you know, a lot of a lot of lazy writing and plot convenience, so they were able to sneak into school. Well, it is a CW show. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, so yeah, Carrie Kelly just pops in whatever the plot needs her to, and she's like, oh. You know, Bruce Wayne has some journals that he, you know, he put all, all of his cases in and stuff like that. We just need to find those. Again, and, uh, she wouldn't know where they are? Apparently she knows where they are. But They're I mean, in his office. He wouldn't put them in his office. They're in his office behind a bookshelf. <laughs> sorry, I, I'm sorry for losing my shit, but I'm like, he would not put him in his office. He would not put him in his office. He there put him in the nuclear bunker that's called the Batcave. <laughs> there was a lot of shit in his office, and I was just like, this would not be in his office. Like, what are they doing right now? The whole point of differentiating Batman and Bruce Wayne is that he kept those lives separate for a reason. Like, he the just most, wouldn't have... Go ahead. The most you could expect is some sort of tunnel between there and the Batcave. I don't know how that would work, but, I mean, they make it work in comics. Yes, uh, they, they do. He wouldn't just have it out there. He would. He they would. wouldn't be in his office. They'd be a secret back door to the cave. That's Correct. the most. You, that's the most. Uh, yeah. They're like, oh, how are we going to get into his office? And of course, the scout Grayson's like, oh, there is a secret elevator that he likes to use. I thought it was just to get away from the press, but I guess it's because he's Batman. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Why did he uh, adopt you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Bruce would adopt a moron. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, it's so funny. It's funny. It's funny because it's a valid question. I want this fucking kid. Oh man. This kid is just a fucking joke. So they break in. The talent comes to to take them out. Police show up. I'm like, yes, talent, take them out. Like, take, take get them, please, do it. <laughs> yes, do it, get them. Then, uh, oh my god, let's get back. So there was a scene where. Do you remember? I think it was uh, Batman the the movie. Um, Mask of the Phantasm. No, it's the one. It's the IRL. It's the live action one with um, Heath Ledger's character with the portrayal of the Joker. What's that one called? I'm like the Dark Knight. Yes, Dark Knight, the Dark Robert. Knight. Do you remember that, that so scene? Much to screw with your brain, man. Nah, it's well. I'm I'm like four weeks post. <laughs> Technically, I'm three weeks post a kidney transplant, so like I'm still, <laughs> I'm still trying to get back into the world. So, no, nah, I, I was uh, just joking, man. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. So I'm, I'm just blanking out. I this this show is fucking me up. A lot of shit's fucking me up. Um, so there's a scene in that movie where the Joker sticks his head out the window with the cop hat, and he sticks his head out the window. And did they not do the same fucking thing? With with his with Duella in the show, did you notice that? I didn't put that together, but in my head, then, yeah, uh, yeah. It, it doesn't surprise me, but I, I also feel like they have a lot of nerve to to. They should ref, they should reference good things. They, sh they yeah, <laughs> they shouldn't. They shouldn't. 
They're like, oh, look, it's the Joker's daughter. Remember when the Joker did this in Dark Knight? Look, she's doing it here. It's like, no, do not, do not do that. Stop it. <laughs> you haven't earned the right. You have, exactly. You have not earned the right to do that, first and foremost. I was very annoyed by that. Oh, uh, I then did, we get, oh my God. I, I, didn't, I can't believe I didn't see that. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> notice that. I'm like, I'm. You know what? I, in the first, I was like, I was like, wait, I've seen this. I'm, I'm like, where have I seen this before? And I was like, oh my god, it's in the Dark Knight when the Joker does the same fucking thing. CW is a fucking clown show. It's it's a clown network. It really is. Fast forward, and they're in the does the, C, does the CW stand for Clown World? You know what? It it does now. <laughs> It does now. CW stands for Clown World. So they're in the building. They're like, oh, how are we going to escape the talent that the owl sent toward us? Because it's unstoppable, blah, blah, blah. And uh, Carrie Kelly has that bat fucking, I don't know what the fuck that thing's called. It's like, uh, it's not the battering, but it's like a bat fucking rope gun or whatever. A grappling hook? There you go, the grappling hook. Even that looks, the CGI for that looks fucking awful. Have they not heard of practical yeah. effects? I, I mean, I get, that, I get that they're a TV show, so their budget might not be great, but they can't, like, make a rope in it. Dude, exactly. Like, the practical, like, they could do practical effects, TC. They could. They could. I mean, it's not like, it, it's, not like it's a hard effect to pull off. I could think of how to pull that off. It was bad. <laughs> it looked so bad. <sighs> then they, uh, so yeah, they escape. Joker's daughter ends up going her separate way because she's like, I gotta get out of town. This is it for me, of course. You know, that immediately makes them think that, that she's guilty. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you, you, I, I mean, as stupid as this whole thing is, it's like she does kind of have a reason to want to get the hell out of Dodge more than anybody else here. Because her father is crazy and people are going to want her dead. So, I don't know. I just, yeah. and then the stupid thing she does is she tries to pawn the watch that has the uh, Court of Owls logo on it. And I'm like... Why would you do that? Why would you? Uh, and I'm like, why would you do that? Like, no. I'm like, now you're just asking for a target to be on your back. Like, you're fucking dumb. Uh, she's supposed to be like the brains of plans. Of and plan that was the, that was the coin that Bruce was holding when he was killed. Yeah, yeah. And her big idea was pawning the watch, which backfired. Which backfired as it should. Yeah, as it should, because the talent shows up and almost kills her. If it wasn't for Discount Grayson, Carrie Kelly, and the rest of the fucking misfits, she'd be dead. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, who are the other two? There, there are two others. Are oh, they the comic book or something? I don't remember. I think Zack Snyder created the character. Those characters. I don't know who the fuck they are. Like, I don't know. Oh, okay, so it's not just me blanking. Good to know. No. I, 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 I didn't, they kept saying I didn't, the names like it was something I was supposed to know, and I'm like, I don't know. What they are. I, I didn't even care enough to know their names. So <laughs> I don't even care enough to talk about them. Like, I feel like they just didn't add anything to the show. Like, I, I don't, like, nothing memorable about those two at all. <laughs> Um, Harvey, Harvey, um, ha has a, he's a, does the DA, is the DA usually the one who gives press conferences? I believe a DA, the DA does, yeah. Okay, so that does make sense. Uh, so, so he's basically like, we're gonna hunt them down, we're gonna put all of our resources, uh, to that. But the one, the one other thing, and I forgot to mention this. Everyone was like, well, how are we going to keep ourselves safe now? Blah, 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 blah. Like, that's the question everybody's asking themselves. My question would be, 
who the fuck got the drop on Batman? <laughs> <laughs> no one is talking about that. No one. It's like, who is good enough to kill Batman? And it's, it's like, like <laughs> yeah, no, it's like they're acknowledged, they legit acknowledge that Batman has been the city's savior for years. Four years. They, they call him the greatest detective. Yet, no one questions how someone got the drop on him. No one. And I feel like that would be the, that would be the thing. Not just how are we, how are we going to be kept safe generally, but how are we going to be kept safe from whoever man should get the drop on Batman? Yeah. And it's like you actually, <laughs> to your core, believe that these two brother and sisters and the Joker's thought you actually believe that they got the drop on Batman? What? These high school kids? Like, knowing, you- knowing Bruce, he, got, he has a contingency. Alfred tries to kill him. Like- yeah. Yeah. He's got contingencies <laughs> for contingencies. Like, uh. You mean to tell me that these, these high school... These high school age clubs without any particular brand of intelligence are able to get the drop on. Yep, they got the drop on Bruce Wayne. This is fucking. It's such a fucking joke. It's such a fucking joke. Nothing else happens in episode two, by the way, folks. Like nothing else. <laughs> nothing else. It's just Harvey saying that he's going to go after him. He's got a, an agenda where he wants to be mayor, and we find out that. Gender swapped Alfred is working for the Court of Isles. Like that's it. That's Which it. is something Bruce would know. He would yeah, not hire that person. That is definitely something that Bruce would know. Yeah. This show is Gotham High. You remember Gotham High? Unfortunately, By Dale I, the book. I, unfortunately, I do. Yeah, the show is like I Gotham have that High. Book, unfortunately, somebody got it for me as a prank for us. <laughs> This is like Gotham High meets like Say by the Bell or <laughs> Bell. <laughs> uh, this show is fucking bad. This is so bad. Oh man. But I will say this. Because I don't want to be pissed off. I laugh so hard at everything. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So if you if you are a fan of Batman, comic fan in general, and you're watching this show, or even if you are normie and you know know better <laughs> and you're watching this show and you just want to and are interested in watching it and you just want to have some laughs because <laughs> you know you know none of this shit is is accurate on any account. <laughs> Watch Gotham Knights. <laughs> I mean, Do in it. the in the video game, in the video game, it was Roz, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And it Roz. makes sense. I yes, could buy does. Roz killing. I could. I could buy Roz killing Batman. I could yeah. not buy just yeah. buy anybody else killing nope. Batman. Nope. Oh God, this fucking show, man. To be honest, I'm going to give this show a fucking one. That's episode, And I'm rating episode one and two with a one. And I only give it a one because it's pure comedy. Pure comedy. Yeah. I, same here, man. I, yeah. <laughs> Let, let's, go with, let's go with one because I did get some genuine chuckles out of it. I did too. Not, not, not because they wanted us to laugh. But. Oh, no. <laughs> just because, yeah. Just because we know better. It was just hilarious. Oh, uh, man. World yeah. building? What's that? <laughs> oh, man. The idea of a sentimental Bruce Wayne. Oh, my God. Especially telling this to carry Kelly. Yeah. First of all, he tried with Alfred. He would try, fail, and then Alfred would be like, you, le- you meant more to your father than your father could say. I could buy that. I could as well. Yeah. I could not buy Bruce saying anything to the effect of he was the light of my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, gosh. 
I'm fucking. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can't wait till next week. So I'm I'm gonna definitely bring some popcorn and uh, maybe we'll, maybe next week we'll watch it together. How about that? Please, I don't know if I can handle another one. No, that's fair. Yeah, we'll just we'll just watch it together next week. Uh, oh man, dude, do you have anything else to add before we end this fucking thing? I just have a question um, for the CW. How is it that this show, this show, survived all those freaking cuts? <laughs> Uh, Clown World, tell us, please. How did this show get saved when everything else didn't? That is the question. That is the question. This hurts my soul, Barber. <laughs> it does. I want to say it hurts mine, too, but I think <laughs> I, I've been able to disconnect the two. <laughs> I think now I'm just it's just pure comedy to me. I'm looking at it as more of a comedy now. So I used to think days. I used to think my life was a tragedy. <laughs> now I realize, now I realize a it's a comedy. <laughs> oh, and on that note, we thank you guys for tuning in. We ask that you smash that like button, subscribe. Leave a comment, let us know what you think. Share this video out there, hit that bell for notifications, and you guys take care. Bye, everybody.